Is Terra Luna Classic on the brink of dying? This is the question that we really need to start asking ourselves. We can look at some two crazy, crazy price predictions of Luna Classic going to zero from two major, major crypto analysts in the Twitter space. So stick around. This video is going to have some interesting stuff in it. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, do subscribe. Thank you, of course, to all the existing subscribers and patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. We can see crypto is looking rather green today. Who's hiding behind me? Who is this? There's a massive green bowl over here. Things are looking rather bullish. CSPR, I've never heard of this one. We've got Waves, Quant looking good as well. I mean, crypto is looking rather nice towards the end of October. Is this really going to see the up October where things start to flip bullish again? What is CSPR anyway? CSPR, Casper, creeping up on me like Casper the Ghost. What's going on over here? Rank 78, never heard of this one. Maybe we're going to have to do a bit of research on it. But Terra, classic today. Only trading at 0.0002657, struggling to break back through that 0.0003 level, a psychological barrier, a key and critical level of resistance. We can see, unfortunately, now we have fallen down the ladder. We're ranked 33 now amongst other cryptocurrencies, market capital of a modest $1.64 billion. So hopefully we can see a recovery here, but like I say, we're going to look at some interesting stuff. Uh, maybe it's not going to recover the way we are hoping for, especially on this side of the year. Maybe it's going to be a much, much later thing like 2024 or 2025, where we start to really start removing those zeros. We can also see USTC is so far away from ever repegging to the, the dollar. I mean, we're just sitting at 0.04. Again, this is probably something that might unfortunately never, ever happen again. So this is what I want to share with you. A really, really key piece of information um, from James Spillane over here. One of the major and most famous journalists in the crypto space here. He's written on CryptoNews.com. Terra Classic price prediction. Is Luna Classic dead? Two experts predict zero. Okay, so that's not everything. Just stick around because this article does get pretty interesting. So the day of the Terra Classic price, Luna Classic, hit its top 2022 top, two of the best crypto traders correctly predicted the bull run was over. That was September the 8th when Luna Classic price reached 0.00059 on Binance. And as of mid-October, Luna Classic is now trading over 50% lower below the 0.0003 support level. Kind of a usual crypto correction, isn't it? Something moved very fast, euphorically. We saw over 1,500% gains from June. So we're going to see these retracements. Luna Classic price prediction, like crypto. Like crypto, who has 169,000 followers, tweeted, think Luna Classic and burn trade is about to implode. Momentum just broke Elevator down is a high possibility, so this is a bearish statement right here. GCR, Gigantic Rebirth, who has 187,000 followers, replied from his secondary account with a Hillary Clinton quote. That's right, zero. He's actually just saying complete flat out, zero. GCR famously won a $10 million bet against former Terraform Lab CEO Do Kwon. Thief, crook, with his bearish Terra Luna price prediction back in March. Light, who runs a prop trading firm, then posted a long tweet thread a few days later with a mix of fundamental and technical analysis. So this is what Light said. Some thoughts on the Luna Classic burn catalyst or how I learned to stop worrying and love the pump and dump. So he's really calling it a pump and dump scheme right here, guys. As well as predicting the Terra Classic price, action would be a pump and dump. Pumped by hit and run developers and cynical exchange operators all taking advantage of the hordes of retail looking to make it all back in one trade. That makes such, such perfect sense because everyone who was at major loss would do absolutely anything to try and repossess any of that lost money. So it's all complete retail FOMO. That's all it is, in my opinion, as well. He tweeted a few days later that Luna Classic would drop 90 plus percent, return to its origin or lower. Later that month, Luna Classic did crash 70% to 0.00017. Again, another typical kind of altcoin correction, especially after moving so euphorically with overextension phases on the 20 day moving average, overbought relative strength indexes, extreme fear. So you're really starting to explore that, uh, you know, this particular uh, psychology of a market cycle very, very quickly. Luna Classic went through all of these phases already. It hit belief, it hit thrill, it hit euphoria, it hit optimism. We're now seeing the panic, the denial, anxiety phase, right? for 
Terra Luna. Classic. So, for Light's prediction to play out, he charted out a target of 0 0.00004, the yearly low of the new Terra Classic asset since the hard fork. Hit on June 9th, 2022, the Luna Classic price would need to drop 84% from today's price for this particular prediction to happen. So it's definitely a bearish insight, and I definitely think it could effectively happen, right? So I'm not going to read through the rest, but I just think it's very, very interesting. Um, Light is considered to be one of the best crypto traders to follow, and it's absolutely crazy. Crazy. So it's a very, very good chance we could see Terra Luna Classic just plummet down lower, 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 and lower. And guys, if you're new to the channel, please do get yourself in the Discord. Over 1,000 people are now in the Discord channel. We looked at the Tamadoge pre sale, which did over 1,900% increase. This one right here, it's still trading really, really strong. So we're looking at more pre sales. Actually, we're looking at the IMPT token today. So if you're someone that really likes pre sale tokens and really want to explore those lucrative, high risk, high reward opportunities not financial advice of course but get into the discord channel it's completely free just to participate and you know get involved we've got trading signals as well i've also got the altcoins tamadoge and impt token section too where we're talking about everything pre-sales and i do want to apologize to everyone that is waiting for the next pre-sale drop it is going to happen very soon i know it was meant to happen last week and i know it's really really annoying don't worry it is just around the corner so please just stick around i also want to invite you guys to potentially becoming a patron only three of the 100 slots remain on the vip holder package this will give you early access to pre-sales like Basswin Infinity, which did a 750%, Tamadoge a 1,927%, IMPT token, of course the ROI is pending, and of course the next one that I'm going to announce very, very soon, I can't really reveal much, but the VIPs know exactly what it is called already, because they're taking advantage of the particular um channel over here which is vip pre-sales the next pre-sales tab is what you will unlock you'll receive all the intricate details my thoughts and insights as well as all the key news around it um you can sign up to become a vip holder guys so it's just 20 pound a month you can find that link down below i really urge you to do it because it's limited right now and maybe i'll increase slots depending on the performance of impt and the next one coming up so if they do really well of course i want to increase the amount of vips because i want more people to also do well including myself so you're going to get loads of things like a free ebook future educational trading videos um, you're going to get pre-sale and trading signals you're going to get spot trading signals 10 times entry listings on the giveaways here as well you can see all of this um, and there is a giveaway coming up soon um, hint hint it's going to be a one thousand dollars don't tell anyone it's it's going to be a big one but i don't want everyone to know just yet because people just get too excited and start flapping around and they're like when's this going to happen when's this going to it's all going to happen guys just please be patient um, and stick around with me so yes if you want to be part of the vip journey do check it out it's going to be absolutely in your best interest as we explore more massive upside potential pre-sales for the remainder of the year and looking into 2023 so very very keen to see what might happen of luna classic of course tamado should fantastic you can use okx down below the link that i've got provided for you we can also win up to ten thousand dollars just for signing up and you can buy some tamado today if you missed out on the crazy crazy pre-sale uh they have got some beautiful looking nfts at the moment that are in auction um for tamadoge they're looking really really nice actually uh let me just take this one out of auction we should see a few more yeah here are some examples of the beautiful looking um tamadoge nfts i think they're lovely immersive vibrant they've got some really unique cosmetics and metadata about them too so going back to luna classic what is actually happening proposal 5234 past the threshold we can see here is another proposal and it says lower the tax rate to 0.2 percent and set aside 10 percent of tax revenue to finance ecosystem infrastructure and contributors 78 percent said yes that is the majority right there so who knows what could potentially happen i would say that's a good thing for luna classic um retweet if you want coinbase to list of course we've got more of these twitter bots twitter is notorious for bots guys pretty much all of twitter is bots like most of twitter is bots elon musk said, said so himself so it's a madness they're really trying to captivate and get the attention of coinbase i don't think coinbase are going to stoop down that low and lose their credibility to lose you know, a bit of reputation. I don't think we're going to see Coinbase list Luna Classic ever, guys. I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't want to be a fudder. I'm just not a moon boy. I just can't see it happening. I don't know what the benefit would honestly be, especially with the downtrend we're seeing and the lack of liquidity and volume that we're getting for Luna Classic right now. As well as what happened, you know, around the Terra Luna crash back in May 2022. I think Coinbase would rather keep their credibility and, you know, stay 
have a bit more good faith towards the community, you know. Um, I don't think Luna Classic deserve to, to thrive. I mean, the actual developers and people behind the scenes or anyone affiliated with Doquan, I don't think they deserve to thrive. I do think people that lost all the money, unfortunately, deserve all of it back. But a hard fork was never a good way to recompensate for those holders at loss, right? It's just a big way of putting a middle finger in someone's face and being providing a very cheap, low-cost alternative to look like they're giving a solution back to the, the holders. <laughs> this one just... This one is hilarious. Soon you will wish you had bought more Luna Classic when the price was still low. Let's give you my best impression. My precious! Oh my gosh, guys. It's just... It's desperation at this point. It really is desperation at this point. And unfortunately, Luna Classic is in a strong, strong downtrend. I mean, look what's going on putting through constant lower highs, constant low lows. We had this falling wedge. We broke out, got rejected at the 0.00316. We had a falling wedge. It was meant to be a bullish breakout back to the 0.00037. It just didn't happen. Looking at the volume, we can see we are still breaking down on the volume. We're not getting any organic volume come through. So that's of course a bearish sign. And we're still in a descending channel slash falling wedge right here. Uh, looking at the Bollinger Bands, we are sitting right at the bottom. We're under the 20 day moving average, another bearish signal moving into the four hour time frame. Things still aren't really looking that good. It might be a form of consolidation. We didn't print a swing load down to the 0.000247 just yet, but I do think there's a chance we will revisit the 2 4 level. If the market does flip extremely bullish and Bitcoin does too, then there could be a small chance that we might get a breakout. I do like how we are starting to put some textbook lows in. As you see, we're starting to finally put through some higher lows. And you can see it's following that support level very, very nicely. And I suppose that you could also argue that it is a bit of a symmetrical triangle here as well on this particular time frame. So if we do break through the resistance at 267, we could see a swing high up to the 0 0.000272 level. If we lose the support here at 265, maybe we come back down to the swing low at 262. So that's what I'm seeing here for Luna Classic. Still very much a bearish trend. We are starting to form a symmetrical triangle, but usually this is a continuation consolidation pattern where we'll see the trend follows so there's a good chance we'll lose the support here as opposed to actually get a bounce to the upside of course keep your own eyes on the price action because we don't know what's going to happen of course going back to this particular chart we've already seen the contraction and the expansion we've seen the peak the peak of Luna Classic was at 0 0.00059, the point of maximum financial risk, everybody. And then when you come back down into the red phases where we're in the depression, the anger, this is where the point of maximum financial opportunity is here. We could apply the same logic with Bitcoin right now at $19,000. So it's very important that you take advantage of these phases that we're seeing. Um, and I do think this piece of data here, this cheat sheet, psychology of a market cycle is a really fantastic piece of tool to be applying to your trading journey looking at the lunar classic burning we are looking very strong however 0.279 percent of the total supply is burnt 19.2 billion tokens i think we just need so much more burning it's really not enough 19.2 of course this chart is looking rather nice it's linear it's just straight up but we need more burning and by the looks of this how it is burning it looks like it's the binance burns which are occurring weekly so yeah i know it's not a nice video for you guys to be hearing about saying that Terra Luna Classic might potentially be going to zero. I don't think it will go to zero, but I do honestly think it could add another zero back to the price if things don't look good. Um, you can certainly come down, lose one billion dollar market cap. We could come down to 500 million, 250 million. It's certainly, certainly possible. And you know, the sentiment is very, very, very bearish for Luna Classic, in my opinion, at the moment. I just think it was also a bit of a coordinated pump and dump, exploiting and taking advantage of those who were at loss. That's what makes sense in my opinion. And when things were so boring back in June and July and it was the only thing pumping, everyone was just converting their money into Luna Classic because it was the only thing moving. People just like to be sheep, follow the money, chase the green candles and then complain when they are in loss. Before I wrap up this video, I wanna show you also IMPT token. The third pre-sale that we're looking at on this channel, is it going to be the third to do crazy stuff? I think so. 13 days into pre-sale now, $4.8 million raised. I do hold. 
uh, 105,000 tokens, which is $2,000 worth. So I'm going to be fully transparent with you guys and also take you through the journey as well. So nearly going to pre-sale phase two, which means that the price of IMPT tokens will be going up to 0 0.023. So now is a good time to get in um, if you want to take advantage of the lower prices to maximize the upside potential. Of course, we're talking about this in the Discord channel. So get yourself in the Discord channel. Come and say hello. Don't be shy. And like I say, if you want to become a VIP, it's in your best interest because you'll find out everything about IMPT token and future pre-sales before everybody else. And, you know, Tamadoge, Battle Infinity, D DeFi coins all did really, really strong, strong things. Like the pre-sale was just fantastic. The marketing strategy was amazing. So yeah, guys, if you want to get involved in IMPT token, it's down below. If you want to accumulate some Tamadoge, you can do so with the OKX exchange link also down below. Come and say hello in the Discord. That'd be amazing. Please do that. Smash that subscribe button and consider becoming a Patreon because I will be able to handhold you through the crypto markets, provide educational content, answer your questions. You're going to get signals, but most of all, you're going to unlock access on an earlier basis. You're going to get the privileged information before public consumption on YouTube in the Discord under the VIP pre-sale section. So that's all for you guys. Um, let's all make 10 to 100x. That's my objective. I want to make 10 to 100x, obviously. I want as many of you to also make 10 to 100x. So that's about a wrap, really. I know it's been a long, long video. If you watched till the end, just let me know if you watched it till the end. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be the most cool thing ever. Honestly, I'd be so, so happy. And yeah, that's about a wrap with this one, guys. Terrily in a classic. Zero? I don't know. Is it going to be a hero to zero? Classic. Classic hero to zero. Very famous Hercules quote. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think IMPT, bullish. Super bullish. $2,000 in. I'm going to put a lot into the next pre-sale. A lot. Let's put it that way. I really believe in these pre-sales, guys. Um, and, you know, not financial advice, but I want you to try and at least do your own research have a look at the white papers and try and identify the value that's also in these pre-sales because we can convert profits back into bitcoin and ethereum and it's not that difficult to make 100x remember two 10x pre-sales is 100x two times 10 is not 20 it's 100 think about it bye for now guys